Hey everyone, so we are going to be doing a review of the VTech Treasure Seekers Pirate Ship. We bought this at, his, at our son's one year old party. This toy comes with three figures plus a treasure chest. So this is Captain Monty, this is Sailor Stanley, and this is their monkey apprentice, I don't know. The really cool thing about this pirate ship that I didn't really expect was there's wheels on the bottom. So he can coast it around the room. These stickers, we had to stick them on ourselves. It comes with several pieces. It comes with like this bigger piece. Then it comes with a detachable sail this smaller sail, and it comes with a detachable cannon. Oops, I think we forgot this piece. You gotta find it. Okay, so this was the piece that is supposed to go to the front of the ship, and that's a bird. And it comes with a cannon. What is this, a cannon? With a cannon ball. You should put it in there and you can launch it. Some other specific features of it is there's like a little bit of a slide thing that goes down for the Whoa. monkey. I don't know, but it's supposed to be it's supposed to be for imaginative play. And then it has this thing that goes down. I don't know what this stuff is, but only children will know. You can use their imagination. Um, and then they have this. Turny wheel, steering wheel, <laughs> turny wheel, <laughs> steering wheel, and you can turn it on, and it makes this sound. Welcome aboard. Let's have fun with music. Press one of the buttons to play. So there's, I guess, three different modes to this pirate ship. It has a sing-along, it has a find, find me mode where it asks you where to find certain buttons and certain button. switches on the ship. And then there's one, I'm not really sure, I think it's like read-along, like it's an actual story that it's telling. And there's two different, um volumes to this low and high but i really don't think there's much of a difference Treasure begins with the letter D. that's louder and this is a little bit softer see what i mean not much of a difference so another thing about this is there's oops there's this purple i don't know sensor sensor that you can attach the where you can attach the people. I don't know how, okay, anyways, there's this magnetic thing or whatever, and you can put it in the sensor. And what? these guys can talk. They can say stuff to you, and they can tell stories, and they can sing to you. And here's Aiden doing some dangerous things. <laughs> He's our little stunt man. Can you put the monkey back? Aiden, put the monkey up here. And there's another pig. I guess we could call that a pig. And you could put more people on there. So they can look out. And that's supposed to be a telescope. Aiden seems to be putting all the people in the top of the ship to sail Dada. together, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Imagination's running wild over here. So here's another part. It's the back of the ship or the other side of the ship and it's got lots of detail to it. The windows are actually, well that's not a window. The windows are actually windows so you can see right through them. And yeah, 
it's really cool. It has a lot of attention to detail. I love it. And we just dropped it like a second ago. And it still works, so it's pretty good quality. Here's another feature of it. Oh no. Aiden, look, there's an octopus inside. Oh, okay, we can't look at the inside. Now you can look at the inside. Okay, so... Oops. Aiden won't let us see the inside of the ship, but the inside of it is called, like... I guess VTech calls this their pirate island or treasure island. And there's an octopus in it. I'm not really sure what any of this, how any of this becomes an island or whatever. But it's kind of just cool to open it up and then the kids can play with it. I don't know why there's an octopus. <laughs> it's just it's such a random creature, I guess. I don't know where to go. The octopus, you can roll along. Oops. Yeah, so that's one of the other features of that octopus. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. And yeah, Aiden really likes it, as you can tell. So here is another area where you could put, there's pegs and you could put the people on and they can have like sword duels or whatever, I don't know. But Aiden likes putting the people on the pegs, wherever they fit. So, I don't know, what would you rate this, Jason? 9.5 out of 10. Out of 10? That's really good! Yeah, it's a great toy. Yeah, it's a really great toy. I would have loved this as a child. I would rate this maybe like 8.5. It's really good quality, one. Um, the only thing is I wish it came with more people. And... It's got like that, play mode and story mode. Not which only, is cool. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but the, I guess the people should have more movable parts. So they're more interactive and you could do more stuff with the people. Okay guys, um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know what you think about this toy. Also, would you guys buy this toy for your child? Please leave me a comment below and we'll see you again next time for our next toy review.